Okay, folks, I want to go into a little detail what happened to me today and yesterday. Uh, I thought for sure my stator was failing me, and the reason I thought that, my headlight was kind of flashing, you know, a little flicker, it's flickering, beep, beep, beep. My spotlights were flickering. Um, my voltmeter here that I have on here was only reading, well, yesterday was reading like 11.9, then it went down to 11.7, 11 11.1, 11 10.8, uh, nine, nine, uh, nine, zero, just all the way down to seven, seven. So shit, you know, that's <laughs> mimicking a bad stator for sure. And also, um, I had no power. Like when I turned run on, I had no power there, no neutral light, no nothing. So I thought for sure it was the stator. So I uh, needed to test the stator and I, I don't really know how to, but, uh, went to the battery, tested with the bike running, tested to see if, uh, we had 12 volts there, we did not. We had the same voltage on the battery uh, with with the bike running and the throttle, you know, revs kind of high as I did on the voltmeter. So I started chasing down some wires and initially this blue wire here on my 95 T-Dub, this wire there and also uh, these two here go down to the stator right in there. So I fiddled around with these and it seemed to make a difference. And then once I got it all back together, because I we were now then we were at uh, you know charging 12, 8, 13, 3 around that uh, around that area uh, as far as voltage and I thought we had it all fixed. So we put the bike, the seat back on, the side panel back on, the seat back on, all that stuff, and uh, started the bike. And the same thing, I'm like oh crap. So I had to take all of, it, all of it off again, started chasing wires. And anyways, what happened was, started over here on this right-hand side panel, right here, started digging through these wires, looking for loose connections, and sure enough, this wire right here, this, it's a red and white coming out there, and coming from the, the harness, where does this go? This goes from the fuse here, from the, Probably is that my hot? I'm not sure. That comes from the battery down to this fuse to this red and white wire. This was loose, and I guess as far as I can tell, this is what powers up your 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 switch, your start button, your dash lights, all that stuff. This one right here. This is your main one. This connection right here was loose, and so when I fiddled with that one. Uh, Everything worked, everything worked great. I started charging at, you know, 13, three, 12, eight, around that area. So that was great. So anyways, the only reason I wanted to make this video is because if you uh, have something that mimics a stator failure, um, and my my thing, I'm not an electrician, I'm not an electrician, but my thing is it's usually the, you'd start with the simplest thing possible. And in this case, it'd be wire connections and once I found this wire, everything was perfect. So I was ready to either, you know, start going home and having and ordering a stator, which had, had I ordered a new stator, I would have had the exact same issues as I did before. Uh, it still would have, nothing would have changed. So it was just this one wire right here, this one connection. So if you have, uh, if you're on the road like me, and you have issues like that, like possibly a failing stator, it might be that little sucker right there so just thought i'd give you a heads up on that something i found out today and uh i'm glad i did otherwise i'd be you know starting to head home and also you know I, one thing i i must say having a kickstart on a t-dub saved my bacon let me tell you saved my bacon i did not have to worry about starting this bike because i had a kickstart so anyways that's all i got for you I uh, hope that was helpful. Hope that was informative. And we will see you next time. Adios. Frostbite out.